It's a very good place to be that, you know, you want to get your life together. I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. Three cots in the middle and you ain't sleeping outside. And, you know what I'm saying? You ain't doing dumb stuff and this the place to be. You got to learn how to follow rules and regulations just like you did in the service. It's no different. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, if you don't got no discipline, you don't got to have no law and order. You know what I mean? It's just going to be chaos. And this is the place to learn it all back again if you lose it. You don't lose the value. Some guys lose their value because they step out on the ground and there are bushes on the bridges and, you know, so on and so on, like trains and buses. But now you don't have to do live that life no more. Get yourself back together, pick yourself up and dust yourself off and get back in the race, you know, fight on. It's still a fight, but you can fight it. If you got a strong will on the mind, you can get cold coma, you know. But if you just wake up and stump up, you ain't gonna nothing happen, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put some effort in it. You got to do some footwork, you know, reach out and help help somebody to help you and you help them. You pick them up and drag them with you, you understand? Don't leave nobody behind. You can see that you can do better. Since you've been here, uh, what's your experience been like at Veterans? I have crumpsed a lot. I paid off. Uh, all my bills, got my credit score worked out, and get my driver's license back. I ain't had a driver's license since 1987 and 76 in New Jersey out of Rhode Island. I lived in Rhode Island one time, and uh, I'm getting all my life straightened out pretty well. You know, feeling a 72 year old vet, and I never did these things before. I just ran and got, you know, did what I wanted to do. You know, I drove anyway. And I got tired of living like that, you know what I'm saying? I said, let me straighten my life out. And I came here and Karen and Corey and all the rest of the staff, you know, they pitched in and helped me. Told me it was good advice and I took it and did it. I paid all the bills off while I was here, you know, all the credits, all the loans I had out. I paid them all, accomplished it all. My credit score shot up to 750. I paid the motor vehicle off, you know, DWI tickets I had, you know, one in Rhode Island, I went up there last week. And straighten that out, Karen said, go straighten that out. And took the money up there and paid them off. And that's how I've been working, getting my life together. And, you know, Vet even helped me because I, w I wouldn't do it on the, if I was on the street because I was chasing other things, you know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't be focused, like, you know, to do things. And that's what the street does to me because on the street I do what I want to do. And I take my will back, you know what I'm saying? But here I've been going along doing it. You got something going, go and take, talk, take time to talk and go to a meeting. You know what I'm saying? I did the room for 15 years, like I told them when I come, I'm through. I don't want no dog, I don't have the desire, I don't drink, I ain't got no dirty urine since I've been here. At least then, you know, I don't have no desire for it no more. I prayed and God helped me with that. Only thing I got is a cigarette and I try to put them down. That's the only habit I have now, but all the, all the other stuff I did, shooting dope and shooting coke. I don't have a desire no more, the taste gone. I don't have nightmares or nothing, nothing. Like I tell them, you think about the stuff, you're gonna bring it on. You understand? We got stuff to do. Come in here, pick up a book. You understand? Read the Bible. You got the things to get around that. You understand? You got people you can talk to. Let it out, talk the problems. Don't be scared, you know? If you're scared, you know, you'll never get nowhere. You gotta want help. You gotta seek help. There's help for you. There's some guys like they come in here and they start talking all this yarn yarn stuff like I told them. Sit down and listen and you don't close your mouth, you can get something out of it. But you trying to take things your way, you're not going to make it. Hey, stay strong. The, the, we paved the way, the old vets paved the way, you know, you got to carry it on. You got to carry the flag, that's it. Carry that flag, don't let it drop, you understand? And stay strong, you know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody stare you down, take nothing from you. You understand that? You do the taking. The United States is a very strong country and always will be. And, you know, that's what we stand for. Justice for all and stand together, you know? Don't leave nobody behind. You understand? That's Marine Corps, you know what I'm saying? We don't leave nobody behind. You know? And that's the most model of the day. You know, all these guys come in there, I help them. You know, if they got cigarettes, I give them a pack of cigarettes and welcome, you know? You gotta stick together as one unit. You can't fight, you're separated. You gotta fight as one, you know? Then you're strong. You know what I'm saying? We're all veterans and we stick together. I don't care if you're in the Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, we're all one brand. 